a, a press release coming from SkyMet saying that uh, this year around India could receive 105% of the long term average which means an above normal monsoon. We are just being joined by Jatin Singh from this uh, forecasting company. Uh, Jatin, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, uh, well, uh, just detail to us the grounds on which you are expecting this good monsoon. Uh, it's, uh, you know, the cooling and, you know, it's been steadily going down. And we think that uh, by the last two months, which is, say, uh, August and September, you would be, you know, it would be, uh, by, by the end of the monsoon, you might uh, get into La Nina, which is a very good thing. So almost after two years of a very long El Nino episode, um, the, so once that, once that happens, all the energy uh, and the winds will probably shift towards uh, the Indian Ocean and India. Okay. And that is what seems to be being reflected overwhelmingly in all the global malls right now. Okay. So, What are the chances that uh, uh, this El Nino, which has been worrying us, continues up until June or July? Will we lose our sowing season? Uh, it's hard to say. See, you know, India is a big country. Uh, so if you see what we've written, we think that the onset is going to be on time. Uh, we think that peninsular India and parts of southern central India should be okay. But as it progresses into North India, it might get a little sluggish. So I'm not a star of June 2015, uh, 2016, but later in the month, by July or so, it, things will definitely pick up. So, Jatin, um, the forecast that you have given out uh, uh, in, yes. in which there is a 30% chance of normal, and I'm talking about the overall forecast, 30% chance of normal, 35% yes. chance of above normal, and 20% yes. chance of actually excess. Is yes. this forecast contingent on La Nina becoming a tailwind and therefore giving us some great rain numbers? Or uh, uh, would that be an added boon, so to speak, towards the end of the season? You see, you know, and I've been doing this for about eight to nine years, uh, and we've been publicly publishing forecasts for about about five years. Uh, in the Indian summer monsoon, it's all about the El Nino. I mean, that is in my experience. I mean, if the warm waters are warm, it fails. If the waters are uh, neutral, it's okay. And if the waters are cool or are cooling, it generally does well. I mean, uh, El Nino seems to uh, be to be driving our monsoon. Mm. You know, and 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 that's what the dynamics are always telling us. Okay, and it gets neutral by June. Uh, it should, by the first week of June, let's see, you know, fingers crossed. Okay. Jatin, I know it's really early days right now, but uh, any sort of reading in terms of the distribution, you mentioned it might get a little sluggish up north, but as the monsoon sets in, should we expect it to be a little even, at least, you know, during the first phase? Uh, you see, when I say it's the onset might get sluggish in the okay. north, it doesn't okay. mean that, you know, the, the north will do badly. From whatever indications are there globally, you find the northeast, is the mm. one that might not be at on par, but the rest of the country looks okay, especially central India and west coast. I would say Maharashtra, MP, Rajasthan, Gujarat, uh, north India is all okay, uh, going down south, except mm. for probably one eastern state and, and most of the seven sister states of the northeast. You're, every time you're getting this signal that northeast might not be doing too well. Might but then, not then, be then, doing too well. Monsoon, in every monsoon, in every normal monsoon, or even in above normal monsoon, there are geographies that don't do well. It's never really evenly distributed. Okay. And onset at uh, uh, in Kerala, June 1st? Around the same time, I would say second, third is the estimation we have. Okay. Uh, the onset seems to be strong, and then there is a stronger onset, which is coming in around the 10th or 11th. So, I mean, I can see rain. Let's see. You so, know, so we'll Jatin, putting up our 45 day forecast also online very soon, so sure. everybody can see what we see. So, Jatin, finally, just to clarify, the agrarian northern belt that we're talking about when we're talking about, let's say, Punjab, Haryana, etc., for this yeah. belt, you are expecting maybe a slightly later onset, but definitely uh, a decent forecast, should we say, uh, yeah, particularly north, for the northern north, agrarian belt? North, yeah, I haven't seen anything that tells me the north might not do well. Okay. Um, yet, and uh, you know, you might have sowing issues, but I think it should pick up. All right. Uh, well, thanks for that uh, uh, early good forecast, uh, Jatin Singh. This time we will fervently pray that this is true. And it's okay if, uh, uh, you know, it's going to be a, a sluggish start and picks up later. But one hopes that it's an early start, at least uh, to the leeward side of the Western Ghats in Maharashtra itself, where things have gotten inhuman in terms of the absence of uh, even drinking water.